Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss binding seed, how to configure binding seed and how to stitch to SRT policies using binding seed. Binding seed is a special type of seed which has introduced in segment routing. Using binding seed, we can stitch to SRT policies or an SRT policy with RSVPT. Let us check our topology. Our topology remains same as, it, as in first video. So now in this uh, video, we are going to configure SRT policy from PE2 to PR4 using explicit path. Now again on PR4, we will configure SRT policy which terminates on PE1. On PR4, we will use binding seed and in PE2, we will use uh, the bottom label as binding seed which is configured on PR4. So let us see the configurations. <clears throat> so before configuration, I will check show segment routing traffic engineering policy. Show segment routing traffic engineering policy is showing an empty output. That means we have not configured any SRT policies on PR4. Similarly, let us check on P2. So you can see no segment routing traffic union policies has been configured on PE2 as well. On P2, what I will do is I will configure segment routing traffic engineering policy. Segment routing traffic engineering. Before configuring policy, we have to create segment list. So the first label in the segment list <coughs> will be 16,005 that is PR4's prefix SID. And the next label will be the binding seed which are going to configure on PR4. So let us think that we are going to configure binding seed as 15,201. I will commit this configuration. Now let us go to PR4. On PR4, I will configure policy, policy. I have a given name so now we have to give color we can give any numerical number I will give 1201 and I have to configure endpoint with IP4 address 1.1.1.1 1.1.1.1 is prefix SID on P1 now I will configure binding seed the binding seed which I will configure is 15,201 which we have configured here in PE2. Now I will configure candidate parts with preference 100. You can give any value you want. Then I will configure it as dynamic. Now let us commit our configurations. Now check show segment routing traffic engineering policy again. You can see here our traffic engineering policy came up. It is administrative and operationally up. And it is configured as dynamic and a metric type which is using is TE. So 16001 is prefix SID of 1.1.1 that is loopback IP of PE1. Now on PE2, sorry, now on PE2, I will configure segment routing traffic engineering policy. So I'll configure policy to underscore PR4 underscore PE1. 
uh, given a name you can use any name so i will give color 1201 and end point as ipv4 i will give 1.1.1.5 that is loopback ip of pr4 now i will configure candidate paths with preference 100 and then i will use explicit and segment list as the segment list we have configured here this two underscore pr4 underscore bsid now i commit this configurations now let us check show segment routing traffic engineering policy so show segment routing traffic engineering policy is showing down So during configurations, what we have done, we have given index as 10 for both the labels, top label as well as the bottom label. So now uh, I will go and change the configurations again. Segment list. So I will give index 10, MPLS label 16,000. and on index 20 I will give MPLS label as 15201 so now I will commit this configuration now let us check back now it is up so operationally and administratively it is up you can see here it is using segment explicit segment list now in the label stack you can see there are only two labels that is 16005 and 15201 16005 is the prefix set of one prefix seed of 1.1.1.5 so let us do a trace route on srt policy i'll give trace route sr mpls nilfac i'll use i'll give policy and then name and the official name is com is auto generated and you can get that official name here so i'll copy paste here now you can see when we are doing a trace route the top label on the label stack is 16005 and the next label was 15201 once it reaches 16005 it has removed uh, it has added a new label that is 16001 16001 is again uh, prefix SID of PE1 so then at the end it reaches PE1 now let us go on to PE1 and check its uh, IP addresses I am logging to PE1 so show IP interface brief and I'll give you can see 100.1.1.5 which we got during trace route is the interface IP of PE1 so this is the interface IP which belongs to interface geek 0001 so this is the end of our video thank you for watching this video